How is it going everyone? Got quite a bit to talk about as far as deals go. Best Buy has kicked off another membership service. Now if you remember back in the day, Gamers Club Unlocked at Best Buy was one of the most insane things ever. Unfortunately they did away with that. Um, probably because, I don't know, people were getting a ridiculous value out of that subscription and I guess, you know, they are adopting something else. They're transitioning into something totally new. The My Best Buy Plus membership and right now, they are rolling out a bunch of fantastic deals, especially if you have a Nintendo Switch and are looking forward to some of these upcoming titles. They've got a ridiculous deal as far as that's concerned. And uh, value-wise, if you're looking for PlayStation Store credit, there's a nice value on that as well. Membership is $49.99 a year, however, so... You know, that is pretty hefty, but if you work it out, it's like, what, less than $5 a month? So we'll talk about that. Outside of that, we've got some other great deals to go over as well. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But first of all, let's talk to my Best Buy membership. So... This is a new service that they're rolling out. It's a subscription service. Gets you free two-day shipping. It's like the Amazon Prime gimmick that they're rolling out, but it'll also have extended 60-day return window, exclusive access to sales, events, and products. And right now, one of the best deals that they have and sales that they have, and if this is a, a point, a pinpoint to what's going to happen in the future, like this might actually be worth it because right now, they've got buy two, get one free on select Switch games on My Best Buy Plus. Now, the thing is, like, buy two, get one free is what it is, but, nah, this is literally a buy two, get one free on, like, upcoming games and upcoming first-party Nintendo games. Like, when are you gonna find first-party Nintendo games discounted ahead of release? Probably, like, never. On top of that, they have discounts on other games or, you know, games eligible for this buy two, get one free from other publishers, including upcoming titles. Uh, like I said, first-party Nintendo titles, Mario Brothers Wonder, Mario RPG, Pikmin 1 and 2. Uh, outside of that, you've got WarioWare Move It, Detective Pikachu, Sonic Superstars is uh, on there, Persona 5 Tacticia, so that's on Nintendo Switch. Hopefully they do roll out something similar at some point for uh, PlayStation users, because at that point, like, Yo, you just have to take advantage of the buy two get one free once and then you get your money back on the subscription uh, if you can find some games that you were going to pick up anyway that are coming out soon. Um, so yeah, that might be something actually worthwhile to look at. By the way, you can buy three of the same games. So you can get three copies of Mario Brothers Wonder for the price of two if you, you know, want to do some either flipping the games or you want to, you know, split the cost with a couple friends. But uh, again, you do need the $49.99 pro um, membership. So that is mitigating getting the value a little bit but you can do you know multiple orders if you do want it, it, it's all up to you on how you get uh the most mileage out of it by the way tunic is 45 dollars on nintendo switch that's like that's like kind of crazy isn't it am i, am I wild? i'm just looking at the the listing here tunic is also part of the buy to own free but it's at 45 bucks which is wild to me at that price point also I should note that uh, with this membership, they are noting 15% off on um, video game gift cards. So that includes PlayStation Store credit, Nintendo eShop credit, Xbox credit, etc., etc. Now, I don't know if this is going to be an offer in perpetuity. Like, if this is always going to be an eligible offer for my Best Buy uh, members, that's insane to me because that means 15% off regularly. Like, you might just make your money back off buying a bunch of PlayStation Store credit throughout the year. That's absolutely uh, something something that could end up happening. How much would you need to spend? Uh, like a little over $400, right? Yeah, like 450 or something like that, 425, somewhere around that range to get your money back uh, as far as PlayStation Store credit. But I don't know, most of us I feel like uh, are probably spending in that range on PlayStation Store uh, credit throughout the year. The only thing is, is are you okay with getting PlayStation Store credit and then also getting physical deals? Because the value here is coming from, like if we're gonna get deals like that, Switch sale on PlayStation as well, well, that's going to be a ridiculous value, but for now, the PlayStation Store credit is pretty good as well. We'll see how the sales roll out through the entirety of the year. Um, I think if you own a Nintendo Switch and you're interested in some of those games, like you're already getting your money back if you're going to pick up like Mario Brothers Wonder, Mario RPG, and uh, Pikmin 4 is on there as well. So yeah, you can get Pikmin 4. Like the, those three games, you're already saving 60 bucks and you're essentially making your money back. And you, you guys know the deal with Nintendo first party titles. They don't go on sale. So just wanted to cover that. I know we typically don't cover... Nintendo deals and whatnot, but since that is the primary sale that I am seeing here, uh, that is definitely, and uh, that makes me a little bit optimistic as far as this new membership uh, goes. Moving on from that, now let's talk some PlayStation deals that are quite good. First of all, Wild Hearts, 
30 bucks uh, on this. This came out back in February. I played a little bit of it, not enough to really get a concrete opinion on it. What I did play of it, I really did enjoy. I think gameplay wise, it's a very enjoyable game. Obviously, it's been kept updated. It's one of these EA Originals uh, titles that they are going for, where they're, you know, publishing new IPs and whatnot, Immortals of Vam also under that label. But 30 bucks for Wild Hearts seems like a pretty darn good deal for me. Uh, for a game that came out back in February, only four months old, and you're, it's already... Uh, you know, less than half of its initial cost. So even if a game comes out at $70, that it does not mean it's going to stick at a $70 price tag for too, too long. Wild Hearts is a perfect example of that. Uh, also, I do want to note that over at QVC, there is a promo code for new accounts where you can save $30 on any purchase. The promo code is NEWQVC30. So new QVC30, and you'll save $30. And uh, this is on pretty much any order. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is eligible now it'll say $70 you have to hit the final page of the checkout screen and then you put the code in and then you'll get your $30 off shipping and handling is $5.50 so you'll end up paying uh, $45.50 people were actually using this to get um, Final Fantasy 16 and from what I've heard people are making new accounts and just spamming the code so like if you want to do that I don't I don't know I'm not gonna advocate that but I just heard through the grapevine that people are in fact doing that again that promo code is new QVC 30 so you can utilize that if you are interested and uh, get some value and gets Jedi Survivor for 45 and change. That's a pretty darn good deal to me, uh, all things considered. All right, a couple other deals I do want to highlight before we round this video out. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Edition physically is $42.57 on Amazon. Spider-Man Remastered is 50 bucks on the PlayStation Store, and that has yet to go on sale, the standalone purchase, so... You know, please don't spend $50 on that. I'm sure some people got excited and picked it up for 50 bucks. Please don't do that. Miles Morales Ultimate Edition is the way to go. You get Miles Morales, you'll get a Spider-Man Remastered, a voucher code, you redeem it, you'll get the copy of the game, you can download it. Surprised that at the very least you didn't do a physical release for Spider-Man Remastered if you were going to do that standalone release. Maybe that would have incentivized some people to get that version if they did want a physical copy of it, but I digress. Ultimate Edition certainly from a value standpoint the best way to go, especially if you haven't played Miles Morales yet, which I do know some people just skipped out on Miles Morales because... You know, you heard the rumblings that it is just more of a, not not really a sequel, more of a Spider-Man 1.5, smaller scale game for sure. Probably not as good as the original, but still fairly good. It's just a little bit shorter, but definitely you should play Miles Morales before Spider-Man 2 comes out. I'd highly recommend it. And, you know, this deal with Spider-Man Remastered, it's not a fantastic deal, but uh, this doesn't go much cheaper. So I wanted to give that a shot. And then lastly, Dead Space Remake is $49.99 at Best Buy as well. This has really been holding up in price, so like, you know, 50 bucks for a game that came out back in January, like comparatively speaking, this is an EA published game, Wild Hearts was an EA published game, Wild Hearts came out after Dead Space, and Wild Hearts is down to 30 bucks, Dead Space still holding up at 50. You can see kind of the general commercial reception from things like that when games do see discounts at that level, at least that's how I'm interpreting it, where Wild Hearts is down to 30, Dead Space still holding up at 45 to 50 usually, but still a good price for Dead Space, fantastic game, not my game of the year, but definitely among uh, probably like the top 6 or 5, maybe top 5 right now, I don't know if it hits top 5, but like this year has been pretty, uh, pretty fantastic as far as new game release, like you're talking FF16, just from PlayStation standpoint, FF16, Jedi Survivor, Hogwarts Legacy, Dead Space Remake is in the group, uh, Resident Evil 4 remake that's just off the uh, street fighter 6 for a lot of people diablo 4 is going to be in there so you know me not me saying dead space uh might not be in the top five that's not a slight on the game this year's just been uh pretty jam-packed with uh big titles and dead space is well worth your money and i'd strongly recommend it but that's going to do it for me again a lot of great deals the my best buy thing if you have a switch you can already get a sizable amount of value out of it if you want playstation store credit you can get value out of it but you really have to see you know, how are the offers going to uh, go throughout the year? Because the extended 60-day return window, nobody cares about that. Exclusive member prices, okay, we do care about that. And exclusive access to sales, events, and products, okay, do care about that. Free two-day shipping is fine and whatnot, but, you know, free shipping is kind of a standard on a lot of platforms. I know QVC does it, but QVC is also offering you $30 off, so... You know, that was something I had to mention. But that'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.